Hey everyone and welcome to my very first Yu-Gi-Oh card opening. I'm not sure if this will be a regular thing on the channel. Go ahead, go down to the comments and let me know. Do you guys like to see Yu-Gi-Oh card openings as well? Personally, I don't have as much of interest in Yu-Gi-Oh as I do for Pokemon, but it might be fun to do, especially for these older sets which I just have nostalgia for and all that. So here we have 10 packs from the original Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon set. This is so awesome to have. I have not opened one of these in probably... I don't know, since I was a kid, 10 or 15 years or whatever, so it's been a crazy long time. Each one of these packs is going to have 9 cards. I believe a rare is guaranteed as well. I'm not sure if this has any relevant information on it. Uh, it probably just says blah blah blah, some random cards. 8 commons and 1 rare, yep. So the way that the rarities work in these sets is there are, and I'm sorry if I'm mistaken, I'm not super familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's commons, rares, uh, super rares, ultra rares, and secret rares. There's only one secret rare in this set, and I'll go over the different types of rarities once we actually... Uh, if we actually get any. So, let's go ahead, open our first pack, and see what we have. The first pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards opened on this channel. Oh, it actually says, In ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to duel! Oh, man. Alright, let's see if we can actually get this guy open here. There we go! First Yu-Gi-Oh pack, let's go! These cards are actually quite a bit smaller than the Pokemon cards. I'm not going to try and do any kind of card trick. Let's see, I guess we might need to zoom in a little bit because they're so tiny. Oh, no, we're pretty good. Okay, so we have a fire grass right here. There's dark world thorns, and these are all commons. Uh, I'll point out the other stuff. There's no uncommons in these, in these sets. So we have dark world thorns. There's a red medicine, which increases your life points by 500. Here's a Kurama. It's almost Kuruma, which is car in Japanese, but there you go, Kurama. Oh, there's our first rare. We have Giant Soldier of Stone. So a rare is basically one of these cards like this that has the uh, silver holographic name. So that is a rare. And you guys might recognize that guy from the anime. It's a three-star with pretty good defense, 2,000 defense right there. So maybe if you want something defensive, that might be good for you. So pretty cool card. We also have King Fog looking so creepy. He's got like two... Are those swords or are those lightning bolts? I don't know. We have Beaver Wario. Oh, uh, Wario. We have Beaver Warrior. Uh, petite Dragon, and a Root Water. Alright, so there's our first pack, guys. I'm actually pretty excited. We got a few cards that you would see from the anime. That's kind of what I like about the old sets, is just the nostalgia and seeing stuff that you would actually see in the anime. I'm sure they show off newer stuff in the newer sets as well, but I've actually been watching through the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I'm up to Season 4, I think, which is like the Ori Kalkos saga. It's getting kind of weird, but I'm still digging it. Here we have a Mountain card. There's Mystical Moon, a Beast Warrior type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300 points. The text on these I'm noticing is really small, so sorry if you guys can't read any of that. We have a Dark King of the Abyss, a uh, Fiend Reflection number 2. Look at that thing, it's just like, huh? There's also, ooh, oh, right there, Celtic Guardian. So the holographic, it's kind of a subtle holographic, but the picture is holographic, so I believe that's a super rare. So regular rare has the name in silver. Super Rare has the, the picture holographic. Ultra Rare, I believe, has the name holographic and the picture holographic. And then Secret Rare has like a totally different look to it. So that's awesome, guys. We got our first Super Rare right there. Celtic Guardian. Very nice. Let's set that guy aside. We also have another Root Water. You know, I should probably be setting aside all of my rares to show off at the end here. So let's move our giant soldier over there. Okay, we have a Root Water. A drooling lizard. That's just disgusting. We got a Sparks. I always thought this card was weird. It inflicts 200 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. I think there's other cards that do the exact same thing, but just more damage. So let me know, guys. Is there any use to Sparks? Is there something it combos with that makes it worthwhile? And we have M Warrior number two. So very cool second pack. We got ourselves a super rare Celtic Guardian. And my apologies if I get any of the uh, names of the rarities wrong or anything. Like I said, I'm pretty much a noob to Yu-Gi-Oh. I still have all my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I never really had anything too crazy. These packs are not as easy to open as uh, Pokemon card packs, I will say that. Maybe because the cards themselves are smaller, so it gives it uh, less to pull on. But here we have a Petite Angel. I think that my Valentine used that. The Furious Sea King. It's not Sea King the Pokemon, just the Furious Sea King. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. We have an Umi. Pretty cool. We have Dragon Capture Jar. That is our that is our rare for the pack. You can see the name is kind of shiny right there. So Dragon Capture Jar is our rare. Another King Fog. Another Beaver Warrior. Wow, a lot of duplicates here. Petite Dragon and Root Water. I think we've got three for three with Root Waters. 
just fun. We are going to see a lot of duplicates because there's just so many commons in each pack, so it's pretty much bound to happen. It's not like Pokemon where there's, you know, commons and uncommons to mix things up a little bit. Terra the Terrible. We have... That guy's actually kind of cool looking. He's got like... He kind of reminds me of the Ogres from World of Warcraft, but I think he's more of a genie. We have Turtle Tiger, because why not mix a turtle and a tiger? It looks like he's got a scorpion tail as well, almost. Oh, Dark Gray. Looks more like a blue to me, but it's, it's dark gray. We got hard armor as opposed to soft armor. And we have Carbonola War Carbonala Carbonala Warrior. That's our rare. Pretty cool. So it's actually a fusion fusion monster. You mix fusion one or M Warrior one and M Warrior two using a uh, fusion card. And the stats are not that great, but it's it's the thing. I'm guessing there's probably magic cards or certain effects that only work on fusions, or there's probably some reason to have that. Maybe it's not that good. I don't know. We have Trial of Nightmare, Dissolve Rock. That kind of looks like a cave I went to once. Uh, Wasteland, Larvis, and that's it. Okay. So that was only, well, we're not even halfway done. We've got a whole lot to go here. I'm pretty excited that we're doing 10 packs instead of like, hey guys, I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh! We're doing like two packs, you know? It's exciting because my first Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we're, we're going big, guys. We have a Red Medicine, Terra the Terrible, Dark Gray, Turtle Tiger, and another Dragon Capture Jar. Two of those, actually, so we have two of those for our rares. We also have a Tyhone, whatever that is, um, Enchanted Mermaid, Man Eater, and a remove trap. So that just destroys one face of trap card on the field. Maybe that's good. I think there's certain cards that are continuous traps. So they're trap cards that stick around. So that's probably good for that. That's my guess. Because I'm guessing if the trap card's face down, a lot of them they are just going to be triggered and boom, they're gone. But it wouldn't make sense to be able to remove one face down because then it'd have to reveal. Because it might be a trap card or a magic card. So that kind of, you know, the person could just lie to you basically. Uh, we have a forest card. Skull Servant. Green Phantom King. That's definitely a Phantom King. Oh, he taught some giant. I'm pretty sure that was in the first episode of the anime. Oh, two pronged attack is our rare. So we've only got one super rare so far. The rest have all been normal rares. We have another drooling lizard, another sparks, M Warrior number two. I think we still need M Warrior number one. And Trial of Nightmare. Four packs to go here. Let's hope I'm hoping we can at least get one ultra rare. Because we have there's a few good ultra rares in the set. We have all five Exodia pieces, those are like the big ones. I want to get me some Exodia piece. Uh, but we could also get like a Blue Eyes, we could get a Dark Magician. Um, I guess Red Eyes Black Dragon as well. Here we have a Mountain. Violet Crystal. I actually remember using this card. A zombie type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300 points. We have Dark King of the Abyss. Fiend Reflection number two. Reaper of the Cards. Very cool card. Just a rare, but still pretty sick. Digging that one. Uh, we have a Misai Ruzame, I guess. Uh, Yami. Witty Phantom. And a Kagemusha of the Blue Flame. Alright. Just three to go here. Come on, we got three more shots at some good pulls. Let's go. Yeah. Get in there. I like seeing all these little, little tiny cards, too. I mean, I think... A lot of people overlook commons and stuff in Pokemon, but even more so in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, people will straight up just go right to the rares and just completely ignore everything else in a pack, usually. And it probably means that commons are usually not very good and competitive. But here we have the 13th Grave. Your baby. No, it's your B. Two Mouth Dark Ruler. That is a very unpleasant place for a mouth, it looks like. We have Hinotama. Ooh, Metal Dragon, so that's our rare. It looks almost like a samurai armor, but it's just straight up metal. It's another fusion. It's Steel Ogre Grotto number one plus Lesser Dragon to make that guy. We have another removed trap. A no, oh, there's a Steel Ogre Grotto. That's pretty much exactly what we needed to go with that fusion card. A monster egg and a Nemo Rico. All right. I think did we get the other guy? I don't know if we have a Lesser Dragon to go with that fusion. I don't think we even have the fusion card, so that's a problem. Not that I'm actually going to play these, but just hypothetically, you know. We have another Terror of the Terrible, another Dark Grey, another Turtle Tiger, and another Hard Armor. Wow. Oh, we have a Dark Fire Dragon. That is our rare for the pack. So we've only gotten one super rare so far. The rest have all been regular rares. We've got one pack to go. Maybe there's something good inside there. We've got a Drilling Lizard, Sparks, and Warrior number two, and Trial of Nightmare. One pack to go, guys. Let's get that last pack. Magic. Fingers crossed here. Let's get ourselves. I want to get... I want to get a Blue Eyes or a Dark Magician. Yeah, we could get an Exodia piece as well, that'd be sick. But, 
I'm rooting for Blue Eyes or Dark Magician. We have an Umi, Hinotama Soul, our mail. It's, uh, it's my mail. We have 13th Grave, the Gravedigger Ghoul. So that is the last one, guys. We've got nine rares and one super rare. So nothing too crazy. These packs might have been weighed. Uh, they might have tried to weed out all the good stuff. I messaged the seller and be like, hey, are these packs weighed? And they said they bought them from someone because uh, they had they had like thousands or hundreds of these packs. So they bought them from some other seller. So they probably got weighed before they were at that in that person's hands. Uh, we have Maneater. Remove Trap and Steal Ogre Grotto. Wait, 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 and a Monster Egg. So that's the last one right there. So I guess we'll take a quick recap of our rares. We have ourselves Gravedigger Ghoul, Darkfire Dragon, Metal Dragon, Reaper of the Cards, Two-Pronged Attack. We have not one, but two Dragon Capture guard, uh, Jars, Crabinola Warrior. Celtic Guardian is our one super rare, so that's pretty much the highlight of this video. A very cool card, and of course, just a rare one. And we have Giant Soldier of Stone. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know once again if you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm thinking I might do a booster box of one of the older sets if I can find one for cheap. That way we don't have to worry about them being weighed or anything like that. So let me know. It's not going to be a too common thing, but maybe every couple of months I'll do a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.